Hey everyone, Mitchell from MitchellGould.com and today I'm going to do a quick review on SpyFu.com. So let's go ahead and pull it up here. I'm logged in to my account. I primarily use it for keyword research on the paid side. That there's you can use it for SEO research you can they have some other SEO like functions or features as well for um, backlinks they have a list building and some tracking features as well the main thing I use it for is to um, do keyword expansion for my Google Ads clients as well as helping create a first set of keywords if they haven't advertised on Google before. For this video, we're gonna stay on this PPC research tab here. What I usually like to do is enter a domain of a competitor of one of my clients. So you can search the keyword to see which companies are bidding on that term or when I talk to the client, they'll, they'll tell me some of their competitors. So for this example, we're gonna be in the HR management software space. So one of my client's competitors for this example is gonna be Bamboo HR. So if you search a competitor, you'll get a PPC overview. And this first chart here shows the amount of paid keywords that they've bidded on or that th their ads have shown on, their estimated monthly clicks, their estimated PPC budget. I usually like to click this and take a look at you know the last five years just to see the overall trend of um, what they've been spending. These budget numbers aren't going to be exact. I would just think of them as being like directionally correct. Um, so you know if we look at this chart here, we can say Bamboo HR is spending more on paid search than they were last year. So that could be a good indicator for your clients as well. But if we scroll down here, you'll see the top competitors. This can be useful to look at what each of the competitors do the terms that they're bidding on. You can see the most successful paid keywords. In this example, we're seeing branded terms, some non-branded terms, and then you can also see the Google Ads history. So you can get ideas and understand, you know, what they're using for some of their ad copy for specific keywords. This can be really helpful when you're, you know, mapping out different ad copy test ideas, um, just getting ideas and inspiration for your own ads. And then they have some recommendations down here. So if you click into one of these sections, we'll go ahead and look at like the their overall PPC keywords. It's gonna move us over into this tab. You can sort the keywords by volume. You can sort it by PPC clicks, the volume. I usually like to start with taking a look at the volume. So they have a lot on branded, HRIS, um, human resources management. Gives you a sense of the keywords and you know how expensive some of the bids are gonna be on these terms as well. Another feature I use a lot is this combat tab. This is going to pull up uh, different competitors. So you can add your own domain here or some additional competitors. So if you hover over on these different charts, you'll see that there's 713 keywords that all these domains share in common. This can be a good starting point to see, you know, some keywords that could maybe be a good base keyword list to start. You can see, you know, just what, you know, Paycom is bidding on what Pilosity is just bidding on and also what Bamboo HR is just bidding on. So we'll go ahead and click on the ones that they share in common. And you can see it's, you know, HR software, HR platforms, a lot of the shorter tail keywords, some longer tail keywords here. But again, this is just gonna give you a good idea of what competitors are bidding on and how you can work this into your own strategy. So. Maybe your client uh, doesn't have a large budget. This can just help with some initial direction that you know HR automation software might be off the table just because with their budget, you're not gonna be able to you know really get any efficiencies with that high of a CPC. The other tab that I use is the ad history. So this is great, again, to review the headline and the description copy for the ads to look at how they've changed over time. Again, HR software, small businesses, always good to have the keyword in there. HR software with the heart. Just taking a look at, you know, kind of the different messaging that they had in there. Month to month pricing, some value props. Say goodbye to busy work. Again, this is great for your own testing, getting ideas for your own testing roadmap seeing if anything in particular is working for them. Maybe you can pivot, test against it, and, and yeah, use that for your inspiration. 
So that's how I use SpyFu. It's a great tool for you know your initial keyword research for doing any kind of keyword expansion, for seeing the ad history. So if you have a chance to use it, I would definitely recommend. If you have any questions about it or if you have any Google ads or digital marketing questions, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.